This video will show you how to use the external encoder on the TVU receiver interface. This feature allows the user to take a live transmission from any TVU transmitter and easily output it to streaming websites such as Facebook Live and YouTube, which we will be demonstrating in this video. On the TVU receiver interface, first, make sure the source you want to stream is in live mode. On the top, click the external encoder tab. On the left is the preview of the live video source and below is the video and audio information. On the right, you have six external encoder fields, meaning you have up to six different remote locations you can send your transmission to. Start by clicking on the Enable NA box and a number identifier will appear. The maximum resolution you can have on Facebook Live is 1280 by 720, so have this selected if you are broadcasting in HD. The encoding bitrate setting for Facebook Live should always be set at 2 megabytes, And you can leave the settings as is for the audio encoding bitrate, audio channels, audio format, and port number. Next, click RTMP to prepare to paste the URL and stream key of the stream. At this time, go to your Facebook page, go to your home screen, and at the top, click Publishing Tools. On the left, click Videos, then click the Plus Live option to set up a new live streaming session. A pop-up window will appear. In the Server or Stream URL box, select All and Copy. Now go back to your TV receiver external encoder interface and in the RTMP box, paste the URL and stream key you just copied from Facebook, then click Start. Go right back to your Facebook page and in the window, click Preview. Wait a few seconds and a preview of your live video feed will appear. If necessary, add a video title, a description, as well as video tags. When ready to broadcast live onto Facebook, press Go Live. Once live, this window will appear, providing you with live data numbers. Here's what it looks like from a viewer's perspective on your page. When you want to stop the live transmission, simply press End Live Video. Afterwards, go back to the receiver interface and press Stop next to the RTMP box. Note, once you press Stop, or if the TVU transmitter stops transmission, this URL and stream key is now invalid. If you want to start another Facebook Live session, you will have to repeat the steps of copying and pasting the URL and stream key from Facebook. Remember to also go back into the TVU receiver and stop the live transmission to avoid using more data. Again, start your live transmission. Go into the external encoder and check the second encoder field for a dedicated YouTube live stream. The settings are the same as a Facebook live stream and click RTMP to prepare the input of the URL and stream key. As you are logged into your YouTube account, click on My Channel. On the top of the page, click on Video Manager. On the left side, click on Live Streaming. Again, you could type in any necessary information, titles, and descriptions in the fields here. On the bottom, you'll see the Encoder Setup section. This will be a little different from Facebook Live. First, copy the server URL. Go back to the receiver external encoder and paste the URL in the RTMP box and manually add a forward slash at the end of it. Go back into your YouTube and copy the stream key. Back into the external encoder, click into the RTMP box and paste the stream key to the end of the URL as so. Then press start. On your YouTube page, you will see your live video stream. To stop the live transmission on YouTube, you can simply just press stop in the external encoder. And again, remember to stop the live transmission in the TV receiver interface when you are completely done broadcasting. You are now ready to stream live to Facebook and YouTube with the external encoder of the TVU receiver.